Hello, my name is David. I'm here at TechDraw again, and today we're going to go through the details of changing pads on a disc brake. There are two basic type types differences. Top load. Top load disc brakes. You can replace the pads without taking the caliper off. Much easier, easier for maintenance. And then bottom load. This one you would actually have to unmount or mount from the fork or from the frame in order to replace the pads. Tools needed for changing disc brake pads. A torque wrench, hydraulic caliper press or a screwdriver, a 5mm Allen wrench, a 3mm Allen wrench, and your new pads and whole pad holder. Let's start by removing the front wheel, releasing the caliper, quick, quick release, unscrewing the quick release to get it past the lower tabs, and pulling out the front wheel. Okay, let's remove the safety clip, I'm pulling this out, and pulling it out like that. Okay, let's remove the pad safety, or the pad retaining pin. Pulling this all the way out and safely pulling out the pad. Let's remove the old pads. Like so. After taking out the worn out pads, you're going to need to create room for the new pads. Make sure you push on the pistons, push them back into the caliper to create the room. Make sure when you're handling new pads, you want to make sure that you don't get any oils or any other contaminants on the pads. It will ruin the surface of the pads. I'm using gloves to keep that from happening. Replacing the pad holder, both sides. Now let's carefully put the new pads back into the caliper. And lining it up so you can put the pen through. Okay, let's replace the front wheel. Quick release. Tighten the quick release in the proper place. Making sure it's well seated. Clapping the quick release down. The last step will be realigning the calipers and the caliper pads to make sure you have no rubbing. 